Indonesians reacting to the news that their country will no longer be hosting the under-20 Men's World Cup. Last night, I received a report from the chief of the National Football Association that FIFA has decided to cancel the U-20 in Indonesia. We must respect the decision. I know this decision has disappointed the public. I too feel disappointed because of it. FIFA's announcement was made just eight weeks before the start of the tournament due to what they call the, quote, current circumstances, without providing additional details. The decision comes after stances against Israel's participation in the tournament. And locals have mixed feelings. I think FIFA's decision is unfair because Indonesia has been chosen as the host. And now we're one-sidedly removed due to these issues regarding Israel. I just don't think it's fair. Why do we have to put religion and politics together with sport? If FIFA stops us, then they have the right to stop any person, any nation or country from playing football. Indonesia is the world's most populous Muslim-majority country. It does not have diplomatic ties with Israel and is a staunch supporter of the Palestinian cause. Indonesia's U-20 national team and its coaching staff lamenting the decision, hoping that there won't be additional consequences from the move. Now we can only pray and hope FIFA does not impose sanctions on Indonesia, but instead gets the opportunity to hold other tournaments so that we can continue to play. FIFA says a new host will be announced as soon as possible and that the 24-team tournament scheduled to start on May 20th will not be delayed.